each other about what's happening right now? Is there a little frustration? Not maybe getting the push you would you would want? Um, yeah, I'm mean, well first I like I our defense played awesome. I just wanna like our defense was amazing. They, they saved us and uh, you know I, I love my guys. I love my guys on the offensive line. Um, and it's just, you know, you, you prepare for one defense, they come on another one. Um, obviously, everybody's going to play out against us now. We're sure that we struggle against it. Um, and that kind of takes away our double teams, what we like to do, run the ball up the middle. Um, it creates problems for us, and we just have to um, iron out those wrinkles and uh, just have to get better. I mean, obviously, we're not where we want to be. Um, but, you know, we'll get this figured out. We definitely will. Can you explain out. a little bit about what the odd defense is and why it's creating confusion for you? I mean, they just they just have a nose two ends and a walk up buck usually on, uh, to the boundary. Um, and they, they can blitz from all over from that. They can blitz from the field. They can disguise it really well. Um, and like I said, our our big thing as an offensive line is vertical runs, uh, tight sounds, they got powers. Um, because we like to be able to double team. Because when we're able to do that, we can move people. Um, we can display something. And then, uh, you know, the odd defense, we just, we just have to prepare better for it. And, uh, you know, have some better answers. And just execute. How frustrating is it to know how good you guys are that you're better than you chase something, but not be able to grasp that? Like Urban even said, you know, that's going to come at us now. We're going to get a coach up on that. Yeah, I mean, it is very frustrating because I know we're capable of a lot better execution. Um, you know, I know our offense is you know, kind of getting held back a little bit by us, uh, not executing, not being prepared. But, I mean, this time last year, we weren't playing uh, at that level again. You know, year to year, our offensive line gets better and better, and I have all the confidence in the world. And, you know, like I said, I, and, you know, I have all the confidence in the world in each and every one of my teammates, especially my linemen. You know, I love them, and I, um, you know, we'll get it figured out. Taylor, that late in the game when you guys had the last series, I think it was third and short, you were trying to sort of put it away, you guys didn't get it and had to punt. Just looking at the offensive line on the bench, it just looked like you guys were just, I don't know, very frustrated in the moment, like that's your time almost, right? To, did you guys feel that at all? Like, I mean, I feel like that was a microcosm of the whole game for us. Okay. We could just never really get anything going. And, um, you know, for, for a third and short, you know, pride ourselves on you know, being, able, being able to run the ball. It's, it's just frustrating not being able to get a couple yards you know, on a critical play that could have finished up the game. Um, you know, it's just, it was just a really frustrating game for us. And, just play better. I mean, simple as that. And I know you guys, it's not your decision, but does this team know who the starting quarterback is right now? I mean, Cardell was the starter of the game. I don't know how coach is going to handle it. Both do a great job when they come in there. And you know, obviously, as a whole offense, we didn't play well today. Um, but I'm just going to really focus on trying to help my unit get better and get myself better. Uh, so hopefully, that can permeate throughout the offense and uh, we can get this thing going. Taylor, does this 